Yeah, Remy, what are you going to cook for us? I'm going to actually do some spicy crab, which is very much um, comes from Brixham. Yeah. Um, it's locally sourced uh, and hand picked. Uh, and I grew up in West Bengal, which is East India, um, and a staple diet of if Bengalis are fish, seafood, anything, and I love it. So I wanted to have something which I grew up in my restaurant. The recipes are very, very similar to what I eat. So we're going to do some spicy crab, yeah. red onions. Yeah. Reason they have more flavor, mm -hmm. they're more nicer, and again, I grew up eating them. That's how my mum and dad kind of used um, red onions rather than white onions. Right. I'm going to add some oil. Yeah. I use a lot of rapeseed oil. Again, it's locally sourced from this country. And see, the pan was all hot, so you added very little oil. It's about two tablespoons of oil in there. Uh -huh. I've got ginger and garlic paste. We make our paste, we don't buy it. Right. It's about two teaspoons, heat, two teaspoons in there. I love that sizzling ham. I have here five spice mix. I'll tell you what goes in the five spice mix. This is an Indian five spice mix. It's not the Chinese. So cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds, um, then it's got nigella seeds, fen and then um, fennel seeds and mustard seeds. So the five is sweet and sour. Now we're going to add, there are four onions in there. So we're going to add about three of them. The reason I add is very little oil again as well. I'm going to add coconut milk in it. The coconut milk is quite rich, so we make sure that you're not adding too much oil. Um, a lot of people, when they come to my restaurant, they say, uh, when eating my food after they would like to meet me, I go out. They said, the food doesn't sit on us. It's it's not heavy. The reason a rapeseed oil is wonderful flavored oil. It's it's low in cholesterol. It's it doesn't sit on you. It's it's nicer flavour to it the Indian food. So this is how we're just going to brown it. And I've got paste here which I make of the red Kashmiri chilies. So red Kashmiri chilies. What we do is soak them in hot water. They're dried chilies which yeah. come from Kashmir, which is not India. They're not very hot at all. They are kind of beautiful colour. When you make the paste, this is the colour you get. Lovely. You know, you keep that in hot water and then make a paste. About two teaspoons in there. And you can, you can smell that, the warmth coming out. The crab is so gentle, so tender, you do not want to overpower it. Right. You just want to keep it subtle, but yet the flavours need to be there, you know? So is it important to cook this thoroughly before you add the crab? Absolutely. Crab takes about five minutes. Yeah. It wouldn't take longer. How long would you give this? About 5-10 to ten minutes, okay. not long, because you're going to add spices and other things. You know, I have some fresh coriander here. I don't like garnishing coriander, a lot of people do. Sure. Um, I like to put that in there. The flavours are more, in, you know, it's more overpowering when you put on the top of it. It's more nice and gentle. Rather than garnish. Yeah. yeah. For me, my food um, is more about eating people you know want to come back it's not about little Michelin star food sure. and I'm still uh, hungry I don't do that because I'm self-taught Roy I yeah. am not nobody has taught me I've learned from what I've learned in this country or from my mum and dad from aunties and uncles from friends and I'm still learning I go I like I go to different art school of Cyrus if I go to we racing I, I ask them questions how did you do that how you know what happened and they've been so good to me they've always been helpful all the chefs have been great So now here, what I have is, I don't buy any spice mixes. Uh -huh. We make our spice mixes, we have a spice grinder, like even if a tandoori mix for the tandoori chicken, or garam masala. This, this has got um, desiccated coconut, uh -huh. which is ripe coconut, then we have poppy seeds, pomegranate seeds, and a few other spices which goes, and it keeps well, did you learn about these as a girl then, in India? I did. My dad and my mum always made their own spices. What I have, again, I sell my chutneys. We do not buy chutneys at all. We make our own chutneys. This is a tamarind chutney. So that one teaspoon will go in there. Uh -huh. And where do you sell them from? Um, it's sold in local farm shops and here in my restaurant oh, as right. well. Okay. It's about 10 grams of it. So that goes in there. So the crab goes in there. 
It's only white meat, no brown. Okay. You can add the brown as well if you want to give more creaminess to it. And you can get that as well easily, and it's cheaper. Um, coconut, you can either have a cream coconut or a coconut milk. So I'm going to add about 20 grams of that in there. What I'm going to do is cook on high heat for about two minutes yeah. and keep stirring, and that's it, done. So it's quite a simple process. It is very simple. Would you like to taste this, Roy? I'd love to. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, some tamarind. Starter or main course? This is main course, yes. but the starters, we have spicy crab cakes, quite okay. similar to this. Okay. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Good. Very good. Thank you. Mmm. It's not too hot, but it's got that lovely um, kick to it. Kick to it, yeah. yeah.